How you guys? Today, I'm taking care of my number one problem that is keeping me from making more of these videos faster and um, a little bit more professionally. It's my kids. Yeah, super proud of that. So we're gonna make a sand table that is just their height, rolls around just like all the other carts in the workshop so that I can, number one, keep them occupied, and then number two, get it out of my way when I'm not using it, or when they're not using it. Hmm. So first things first, I decided to use a couple of pieces of scrap wood that I found laying around in our workshop. This flat piece is kind of sticky from another project I've used previously and we weren't using any more. The fence panels uh, I thought would be a really great idea. Turns out later they were a big waste of time, but that's okay. So I went ahead and put together a support structure for that flat piece just so it had a little bit more thickness to um, kind of screw things to, but then also to hold the weight of the sand. You got to remember it's about 100 pounds of sand of two bags of, of sand. I glued those down just with a, a little bit of um, wood glue just so that they would have a little bit more staying power and then I went ahead and screwed them together uh, so that again a little bit more staying power probably wasn't necessary but you know I like to do a little bit of overkill. So here I decided to go ahead and get the base started. I'm just gonna use a typical box setup that I've used for every single one of my uh, carts in the garage and workshop. It's just a basic square uh, on top of two by fours and a square on bottom of two by fours held together with just some simple screws, no big deal, and then four legs inside the box holding the two boxes apart if that makes any sense.
Now it's my favorite time, time for casters. I love sticking wheels on things, it's so fun. Here's where I decided that those fence panels were just not big enough. So I grabbed these giant one by sixes. Yay! Since I like the fit, it's time to sand. I decided to go with chalkboard paint on these side rails so that the kids could have a little bit of fun dressing it up and making their own. Also, I really like chalkboard paint. So I got out here with my kids in the background here. Nice little rendition Daddy. of spiders. <laughs> Litsy bitsy spider. So anyway, it was too tall. They are way shorter than this. As a matter of fact, this would be the perfect height for them if I was just making a table. But because we're wanting to add the sides and dip it down, it clearly needs to be a lot shorter. So I think we're gonna take the legs off of the table and actually cut off probably six inches to a foot because right now they're two feet tall and that's that's the perfect height for my two daughters but that's not the perfect height for adding the edges on the sand table so gonna cut that off that's what we're doing now
You'd think this was ready for sand, but not quite. We decided to hot glue all of the holes and edges to hold all our sand. You guys, I've had this in the shop for about a week now, and I have to tell you that of all the things that I've made or done, and I've made a lot of things, uh, this is probably one of the most useful tools I have in my workshop right now. With a five-year-old and a three-year-old, dude, they get into everything. But having this as a distraction has just saved me so much time. They uh, actually let me get some projects done the other day and I was just so surprised because I breezed through stuff. I didn't have to stop a million times to go do random things and keep them from each other's throats. Um, the best thing about this is literally the amount of time that it keeps them distracted. So I truly appreciate this and, and I wish I'd thought of it two years ago, honestly. So if you guys have any comments or questions, Feel free to drop them below. I, I will absolutely respond. Uh, if you liked this video and you'd like to see more from Nerdy Mama, feel free to, no, don't feel free. If you like this video and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. That is telling me that you want to see more of these videos and I will keep making them as a result. So that, and then if you'd like to further support what I'm doing here uh, and help me keep making the videos, just check out my Patreon account and see if you'd like to, to sign up over there. So thank you guys very much. Again, if you do this yourself, there's some different things you can do. You could butt these together and round it over in place before you paint um, and, and some different things. And, and I'd really love to see that. If you have any comments or, or in, if you do, do make this, absolutely tag me on Instagram. I'd, I'd love to see your photos of you making this in your house. So. Thank you, thank you again, guys, for being here. I really appreciate it.